Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue. Today I'm going to show you how to use our matte tints. These matte tints have been a labor of love and fine-tuned to the point where you can incorporate them into any workflow and in conjunction with any action set on the market. These are going to be an absolute staple in your editing toolkit. They already are in mine. I love them. Our matte tints are quick and easy one layer toning actions that give you a variety of matte finishes for your edits. And they're amazing to mix and match to build your own recipes. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. When you first get them, you will download them to your computer and they will be in a zipped file. So you will um, extract those. Usually it's on a Mac, you can double click and it will extract it. On a PC, you can right click and select extract all. I have WinZip installed, so I use WinZip. And then you will open your map folder and you have the terms of use and the installation instructions. And then inside the folder is your action. Okay, so then you would go ahead and open up Photoshop. And let me close this out so that you can see how to open your actions panel. You would go to Window Actions and it will open up an Actions panel where you will load up all of your actions. To load an action, you would click on this little downward facing arrow and scroll down to Load Actions and then you would navigate to your download folder. And here are my actions and then click Load. All right. Once they are loaded, I like to put them in button mode because I like to see their um, colors, the color coding there. Okay, let's go ahead and run some of these on an image. So I'm going to run them on this image. Okay. All right, so with the matte tints, you have the option to play them all so that you can play around and mix and match and build recipes, or you can play them one by one. I'm going to go ahead and play all so that you can see the different effects that you get with the matte tints. Okay, so what you do over here to activate one of the tints is click on this little green box over here, and then it will apply the effect. Okay, so let's just go through real quick and look at these on your image. Okay, boomerang, transcend, nonchalant, nifty, which is nice and subtle. Heartfelt, this is one of my favorites. Corkboard, sketch, earnest, glance, jovial, platonic, which is another subtle one, rococo, brew, surmount, nautical, interlude, Carefree, Ready, Lace Blanket, and Emoticon. So if you're not sure what, what each of these are doing, you can go ahead and pull this out. And I've written a little description next to each of these actions so that you know what kind of effect they're going to give. So Boomerang gives a nice, rich, warm matte. I love this one. It gives a nice pop and really adds a lot of um, depth to your image. So, um, you know, you can go down and figure out which, what kind of look you're looking for, if it's a cool, rich matte. So let's look at Transcend. So it's got cooler toning, especially in the highlights, but it's also got richness in the shadows. Um, uh, just a simple matte pop, a subtle matte, creamy matte, beige matte, simple matte, dark, cool matte, deep matte, rush shadows, subtle depth, fruity deep. Uh, warm matte, brown shadows, cool depth, rich pop, olive matte. I love this one actually. Carefree. It gives it um, kind of greenish tones, but they're very nice and warm, and it gives it a, a rich toning that you might not expect. And it looks great on so many images. And soft, warm, dark haze, and dramatic depth. So um, as you can see, you have tons of different options to play with. And of course, you can mix and match. So we can do that now. All right, let's do heartfelt and see what it looks like with corkboard. So it brightens it up a bit. And I actually like that. I would probably bring the opacity of the whole group down 
So I would just close the group and then bring the opacity down and then before and after. Okay. Um, Jovial is actually very subtle. We can increase the opacity like this. It gives a nice um, kind of reddish tones in the shadows and then let's play with some other ones to see what it might look good with. I kind of like that. Transcend with Jovial. Okay, so now you can see how these are very easy to mix and match. So that is how the matte tints work. I love these because they're subtle, but they're very straightforward and they give you tons of creative options that you may not have tried otherwise. So it really does expand your creative horizons. It gives you more tools in your toolbox to um, use on your images. They're a small, quick, and easy set to have in your action collection. They're great to work with many other actions. You just pile them on top and play around, and they're perfect to as an additional add-on to your workflow. So I hope you enjoy, and thanks for joining me.